Hello, and welcome back to the Exodus channel. I'm so happy you could join me today for another scenic drive. As always, a huge thank you to everyone watching. Your support means the world to me. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow and keeps me motivated to bring you more great adventures. Today, we're going on a beautiful drive from Cantu, near Lake Como in Italy, all the way to Baden in Switzerland. It's going to be an amazing journey with some breathtaking views along the way. So settle in and let's enjoy this ride together. In the last video, we explored the French Riviera, checking out places like Mentin, Roquebrun Cap Martin, and Monaco. There's so much to see on the Riviera, and our trip was just a little taste of what it has to offer. But that's what makes travel so fun. It's all about creating special memories, even if you don't see everything at once. For me, the journey is just as exciting as the destination. There's something magical about taking the road less traveled, enjoying the views, and discovering hidden gems along the way. That's exactly what we're doing today, driving through Italy and Switzerland to soak in the changing landscapes. Our trip begins in Cantu, and you might be wondering why we didn't start right at Lake Como. Well, one of the main reasons we picked Cantu is because of its parking availability. If you've ever visited Lake Como, you'll know how tricky parking can be, especially if it's your first time in the area. The last thing you want to do when you're in a new country is spend ages searching for a parking spot and figuring out the local geography. Cantu, on the other hand, offers a more relaxed start to the trip, plenty of space to park, and it's just a short drive away from Lake Como's stunning scenery. Speaking of Lake Como, it's one of Italy's most famous destinations for a reason. The lake is simply breathtaking, surrounded by beautiful mountains and charming little villages. It's a popular spot for tourists and celebrities alike, and it's easy to see why. While we're not starting right at the lake, trust me, the views as we drive through Lombardy are just as beautiful. From Cantu, we're heading towards Lugano in Switzerland. Lugano is one of those places that just steals your heart. It's a city nestled by a glacial lake, with mountains towering all around. As we cross the border into Switzerland, you'll start to notice the shift in scenery. Italy's warm, earthy tones slowly give way to Switzerland's crisp green landscape. It's like nature's own little transition. One of the highlights of this leg of the journey is Lake Lugano. The lake straddles both Italy and Switzerland, and its deep blue waters are framed by steep mountains. Lugano itself has a perfect blend of Italian flair and Swiss precision. It's relaxed yet incredibly well organized. You'll notice that blend of cultures as we pass through. There are plenty of lakeside cafes, so if you ever visit, it's a great spot to stop and take in the view with a coffee or gelato in hand. Next, we'll head towards the Gotthard Tunnel, which is an engineering wonder. Stretching over 16 kilometers, it's one of the longest road tunnels in the world, connecting the north and south of Switzerland. The tunnel makes traveling through the Alps so much easier, and driving through it is an experience in itself. It's like entering another world. As we come out of the tunnel, the landscape completely transforms. We'll be greeted by rolling green hills, charming Swiss villages, and the majestic Alps in the background. Switzerland is such a stunning country, and this part of the drive really shows off its natural beauty. You can't help but feel relaxed and in awe as the scenery unfolds before you. Our final stop today is the spa town of Baden, famous for its thermal springs. It's the perfect place to wind down after a long drive. Baden has a laid-back vibe, with the Limat River running through it and plenty of spots to sit back, relax, and enjoy the scenery. It's a town full of history and charm, dating back to Roman times, and it's a peaceful little haven to explore. As we wrap up this journey, I just want to thank you again for joining me. Whether you're here for the stunning views or just looking to relax, I'm so glad you could come along for the ride. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really does help me keep bringing you these adventures. And stay tuned for the next video. We've got plenty more places to explore together.